Getting started with Dixie Fall after the installation. This is second part video of Dixie installation. In the first video, we already described how to install Dixie 4 and how to download it with the full version. And then now we will check it the functionality whether it's, it is okay correctly or not, or still have an error on it. So let's check this video. So after restarting the PC, the, must, uh, the first thing that you must do is checking the Dixie whether it's properly installed on your PC or not. Now we go to Dixie folder and then open the Dixie for software with the step 7 logo on it. Put step and seven number. This is uh, the software. Click it to open. If you have an uh, error like this, initialization of telephone service, just ignore it because this is not necessary. We don't use that. And then also check the license of this Dixie. If you find the license in the license manager like this, then your Dixie is correctly installed on your PC. If not, then your license is trial or you missing the license okay let's continue to start with Dixie 4 you must create the new project by clicking this white paper button and then type the names of your projects for example and just put name of test then try to open the folder and insert device the protect device on it if we click this one insert new object and see protect device then we will open the device catalog this is our device catalog this catalog contains our device driver that we already installed on your on our PC. Like this 6 MD, 7 MU, 7 SG, 7 UT. Just try open one of them. Example, I try to open 7 UM with the latest version 4.7. Click it and drag it into Dixie Manager and then type the complete MLFP or complete order number just select it random or if you already have your device just type it as per your device and if you have uh, asking the dialog about the protocol just see in the protect device sticker what kind of protocol that uh, it using for example L0R or L0S etc just put it like this for example and then click OK now our protect device was created and try to open it offline to see this device is okay or not click ok
just wait until the software is running now it's opening or oh, still processing okay now our Dixie uh, our Supertech device already open and then there is no errors coming to check double click device configuration to see the functionality of this device we must answer everything is fine in this Dixie for example uh, such as logic GFC yeah. in the Dixie logic call CFC yeah. and then we also must to check the option of IC 61 F50 later we will try to open it and other setting everything must be okay before we using it so let's check CFT double click to open if CFC window coming then there is no errors like this your CFC function is correctly installed and you may use it for your uh, logic requirement of your system or your project CFC is functioning it's good now we do try to drag and drop another uh, another block of logic if there is no errors like this yeah. then this CFC program is ready to use now we close it and try to open device configuration and see we, we must uh, able to select its function without any restriction or without any errors if there is if everything is okay then we can close this one enable disable function is okay now try to open the display editor now this editor is coming and working properly there is no error on it okay now we try to open the interface interface is okay we can set the IP address and so I think everything is fine in this device now we taking the matrix IO here we have a system interface so we check one of signal here we just have a ticket in the system interface column here this admin system interface this is used for 61 if 50 if signal is ticket then it must be have a address like this or telegram now we see the address correctly then 61 if 50 function in this matrix is okay now we close this TC this device and then you must so you see this change notice in the 61 if 50 parameters just click yes and uh, if after clicking yes there is no error then 
device functionality of this uh, Zip protect device is good in this software then now we go to the properties and see there is id name this is a uh, indication that the ic 160 is well functioning and we can use it for our project integration project with a substation control system now to answer that 61 FTT correctly functioning you must create IC 61 FTT station in this project click insert new object and 61 FTT double click to open yes just put uh, the station description file anywhere that you locate the project example in this test project I put also the name of test now it's opening so if the system configurator open and there is no errors like this then IC61 F50 functionality is okay now we can use Dixie this powerful person with plus plus option such as logic and 61 FDT which uh, you are never found it in the Dixie basis so I hope you enjoy this software and this tutorial thank you for watching and don't forget to click subscribe button and like button see you again on the next video